So it's the next day and let me show you what I got done in about 12 hours of work yesterday. So I don't remember where I left off. Probably, I probably didn't make any progress since the last last uh, update, but main hoop is in, uh, harness bar is in, roof halo is in, and then I've got this one uh, down bar in here just tacked in place. I had the other one in, but I realized that where I have them with a door panel, once I did that side, the door wouldn't hit, or the door wouldn't shut. The door panel actually hit the bar. So you can see I, I got this one like super tight, and with the door panel off this door, I didn't really think about it, but once I put a door panel back on here, yeah, it's not gonna fit. So I gotta cut this out and just scoot it over just a hair, which, I think will be a little bit better anyways because I didn't really like how much of an angle this is. Um, I'll probably scoot this over just a little bit too to give me a little bit more vision, but I don't know. Like I said, I, I might have cut this too short already. I don't know if I can make it work or not, but we'll see. But yeah, I was out here last night till about Oh, I don't know, seven, eight o'clock. And by then, I, <clears throat> I was just done. Kind of got in a hurry on that last bar. Because, I don't know, you know, 12 hours out here in the garage in the freaking 100 degree, 115 degree. I think it got 100. The highest it got yesterday was 117 degrees. Um, but it's not so bad once you're out here and in it and you're kind of used to it. But man, when you go inside and take a break for like lunch or get a drink, it does, you do not want to come back out. So, but I'm plugging along. Meanwhile, the rest of the country, other parts of the country, they're talking about how fall's here and they get to wear their sweaters and their long sleeve. But us here in the ass crack of Satan, it's still gonna be, it's gonna be 111 today, they say. So, got a little bit of a late start this morning. I didn't want to get out of bed but it is what it is. But as Bravis from Deadbeat Garage says, dreams don't work unless you do, so let's get after it. So let's see, it's about, that's quarter to nine right now. I'm gonna fire up the old angle grinder and see if I can't win most hated neighbor award this morning. Okay, that one's tucked in. 
fix the other side. That's why it's important to just tack weld everything while you go because you, excuse me Roxy, because you might change your mind and it's a lot easier to cut a tack weld than it is when it's fully welded. Even though that tack weld was, was pretty strong, it was holding on there, but got it out. So now I can get this bar to work for a door panel. So we got this little test fitment over here that I made so that I can do a couple practice welds with uh, before I actually weld that thing out. That way I know my settings are good and I don't start welding because on these cages, once you weld it, you can't grind it. Like you have to leave all of the welds. Um, if you grind any of the welds down, it won't pass tech. So I wanna make sure that my settings are just right. They're perfect so that I get a good clean weld that I'm happy with. Already off to a bad start. fast on the wire speed. Ooh, that was pretty good. Let's see what we got here. It was a little a little bit of a rough start, but that's why we're practicing. Get it focus over here. But ended up not bad. See over here. I think I'm pretty happy with those settings. A little bit of a rough start up here, just figuring it out, but turned out. Oh shit. I'm probably gonna go and weld everything that I can now while it's in place. And then I'm going to bounce around also, so I'm going to weld a little bit here, weld a little bit there so it doesn't get too hot, doesn't move around a whole bunch. And then once it cools down, I'm going to break the tack welds on all the outriggers and drop the cage down so that I can get to the top of everything. So. So there's the cage dropped down. You guys saw that time lapse of me welding everything up when it was up. So now I just gotta go through, weld the tops of these things. And I'm actually pretty surprised, pretty happy with how my fitment came up. You know, I'm not, I've never been very good at. All right, well it helps if you uh, don't hit the record button and stop recording in the middle of your, your spiel, but Anyways, what I was saying is I'm not very good at fitting pipe and notching pipe and doing this kind of stuff. I haven't had a lot of experience in it. I haven't done a whole lot of, of cages or tube structure or anything like that. So 
for this spitman to come out like that with a with just an angle grinder i'm pretty happy with it so but i'm gonna let this cool down it's still pretty warm i'm gonna let it cool down i'm gonna go inside and cool down myself get some ice water maybe a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch and yeah we'll let this cool down before i start welding on it some more and then we'll get it up in place get the outriggers fully welded and then we'll move on to the dash bar and then we'll also get the braces that go from this corner down to the floor in as i mentioned earlier i left those out just because i wanted to drop it down like that so that i could weld all those top bars and with those in it's it's impossible to do that so cool down fully weld the top of those bars lift it back up fully weld the outriggers and then dash bar and the two angle braces and then i think that's going to be good for now like i'm going to do the i'm going to do the the bars i don't know i might not do them i'm going to see what they say if i have to do them then i'll do them but i kind of don't want the bars going out the back window uh into the bed because i kind of want that sleeper look i don't really want it to look like i don't know i just don't really like the look of the window the bars going out the back window plus i just bought a rear glass for this thing and i don't want to have to buy plexiglass or lexin now so we'll see but in the meantime, I'm going to go inside and cool down for a minute while this cools down and then we'll get back to it. Better pause that. Don't want any copyright infringement. All right. Got the tops of everything welded up. Check it out. Pretty decent welds going on there. That one's not as good. And then got those all welded up all the way around. Over on this side. So now. Now I just got to get this thing back up in there somehow. <laughs> Figure that out now. Whew. Hot. It is hot. I got like a heat rash on my forehead from that welding helmet, my hat. Whew. Look at that hair. <laughs> uh, whose idea was this? If you guys are wondering, Robbie, why did you move to Arizona then if all you could do is complain about the heat? Well, it's all about the winters here. The winters here make it all worth it. <clears throat> oh, I was so sick of snow back in Utah. So, there's about three months of just miserable heat, but it makes it all worth it once it's winter time. Make sure everything's like level and square again before I weld it up. So I'm just gonna go around and check everything again. That's right on the money right there. Kidding me? 
I don't got the ground. Well, as fate would have it, I ran out of gas. <laughs> got the cage all set back up. I got it all tacked on all four corners. Um, started fully welding the one side and ran out of gas. So it's Sunday, tomorrow's Labor Day. So it's gonna be Tuesday before I can get gas for this thing. So I think I'm gonna end this video here, split it up, kind of make a part one, part two just so I can get a video up for you guys. I know it's been a while and I apologize for that, but I don't know, just kind of in a little bit of a slump, but I always wait to the end of the videos to kind of like, you know, to like say thank you and stuff because I feel like the ones that are watching the entire video and get to this point, like the true fans of the, the channel. So as always, I just want to say a big thanks to you guys. I, I've been getting a lot of uh, people messaging me you know, like, hey, where you been? Where's the videos? I miss the videos, yada, yada, yada. And I had no idea that like I had that much, you know, effect on you guys that you guys actually waited for my videos. So that's pretty cool. So like I said, I'm gonna get this video done and put up for you guys. So then the, the rest of the cage I'll do in a part. I don't know, we'll see, cause I, I'm hoping to run the truck next weekend. So maybe the next video will be, you know, finishing up the cage and the the track video or i may just finish up the cage and do a few other little odds and ends and then do a full video of the track just depends on the footage and how things go so as always guys thanks for watching thanks for liking uh leave some comments below let me t tell me you know let me know if i did anything wrong <laughs> but like i said i don't have a whole lot of experience building cages so so far so good I i'm happy with the way it turned out um, so far. All that aside, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.